Welcome back to Outdoor guys. Today we're out at the farm. I'm super excited to get this camera out and also do this review on the Dark Ops Pro DCL trail camera from Browning. This is the first time I'm putting a trail cam out at the pond. If you guys want to pick this Dark Ops Pro DCL up, you can head over to browningtrailcameras.com. They cost $179.99. I didn't pay for this camera. Browning sent me this camera. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that up front. I also did a review on the Strike Force Pro DCL. However, this one, you can see it's got the, uh, the invisible infrared night illumination. So it's blacked out on the front. This one also has dual lens technology. It uses two different lenses depending on what time of day it is to get you the best quality possible. It has a 0.15 second trigger speed, a 100 foot adjustable night infrared illumination. This Dark Ops Pro DCL guys is a 26 megapixel camera and it shoots video and pictures. So it shoots full HD. 1920 by 1080 with sound. Um, I'm just going to highlight some of the main features. I'm going to try to keep this video short. We're going to jump right into it. We're going to put this camera out, let it run. You guys will see whatever footage we capture off the SD card. I'll dump it right into this video so you guys can see that. If you haven't subbed though, make sure you smash that subscribe button down. Give this video a like if you liked it. Definitely drop a comment guys and let me know if you picked up this uh, Dark Ops Pro DCL after watching this video. Ring that notification bell too so you get all my content as soon as it drops. It will capture up to 15,000 images on just six AA batteries. So this is the Sub Micro Series, so these things are tiny. Uh, pictures are captured using a separate custom tuned camera lens for day or night shots. We just went over that. Um, it has a 1.5 color viewing screen. I love that. I feel like it's a must have on the Brownings. It just makes things a lot easier. You can check your SD card real time in the field. It's just easier navigating through the menus. I love the Brownings too guys because setup is such a breeze. I'm not going to go through the setup like I usually do guys. I'm going to put a link in the video description below so you guys can check that out. Um, that'll walk you through step by step how to set your uh, Browning trail camera up. This camera too guys because of the invisible infrared illumination is great for like security um, or surveillance. So I prefer this type of camera because I feel like it's less spooky on, you know, mature bucks and things like that. Especially if people, if you got them on public land, um, they'll light up like bright red if it doesn't have that technology. So um, I prefer this over pretty much everything else. But that's personal preference. If you're fine with, you know, like the regular one, and I'll get into more detail of the difference between the Strike Force Pro DCL and the Dark Ops Pro DCL. But that's one of the main differences is that infrared you know invisible illumination also two guys if you're interested in any of the other brownings i will link them down in the video description below i do a ton of browning trail camera reviews so if you guys are looking at different models they'll be down there for you guys to check out all right guys so this is the farm pond behind me um i bass fish this a lot i love coming out here so when i was fishing the other day you can see right back here. I actually just spooked a deer coming in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's definitely a deer trail there. And it looks like one over here. Long story short, I think they're coming into this pond to drink, obviously. And when I was looking, I'm pretty sure that's a scrape right there. Because um, it's right in line with that trail. And I know they like to browse on this stuff too. I'm not sure what it's called. But I'm going to hang the camera probably right here over the scrape. And... It'll get some of the pine too, so we might get some crazy stuff. I think it's different. I've never put a trail camera out on a farm. So, um, like I was trying to say in the intro, I'm super excited to get this out. But I'm going to unbox this thing and hang it. I'll show you where I'm going to put it. We're going to run it on trail camera mode, which is pictures and video mode. And I'll dump all that stuff in this video so you guys can see the quality of both. All right, guys. We got the, uh, the browning. Dark Ops Pro DCL setup. Just in case you were wondering, you can always hit the M button for menu, OK button to select something, but you can always hit that M to go back to live screen so you can see where you're setting the camera up. So um, there's a view of the camera and then the scrape is right about there. So um, that should be the perfect shot. 
to uh to see what deer is around here this is over a hundred acre farm so i don't know if we're going to get any bucks i really hope we get a nice velvet buck on here but like i said we got to set the picture mode we'll run that for a while and then we'll switch it to video and we'll see what we get guys um i think it'll be cool because you know whatever happens in this pond or whatever creatures wildlife whatever comes to it um we're gonna see so i'm excited about that too not just the deer but if you go to menu and aim test and hit okay see how that red light's lighting up when it catches my movement you can come out here and just make sure you got that area covered in this case it's a scrape but hopefully they don't drink from out of frame but if they do we should still get them coming you know coming from and too so um, I just wanted to show you that aim test or motion detection feature that the Brownings have. I think that's it for now, guys. Um, stay tuned. Like I said, I'll roll everything in and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, we're at the first card pool for the Browning Dark Ops Pro DCL. Let's see what we got. All right, we got 100% battery and it took 2,849 photos. Okay, we're gonna hit menu. And if you wanna ever check your pictures, guys, from the camera, just scroll right. That's me setting it up. All right, we got a ton. So we're just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna dump these on I'm going to take the SD card and hook it up to my phone and we'll be able to scroll through them a little bit faster that way. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, we got 101 videos back out at the Dark Ops Pro DCL. That's awesome, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like uh, two baby deer playing and running against that fence line. That's awesome. All right, so um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and actually move it to a different property. Um, so stay tuned, guys. I'll turn you back on once we get there. We still do have 100% uh, battery life, too. All right, guys. I'm going to give you my thoughts on the uh, Browning Dark Ops Pro DCL. And I want you guys to know in these reviews, you're always going to get my honest opinion, uh, no matter what my relationship is with the company. This camera is great for like pictures and video. Low light conditions, this thing really excels at. So like a lot of situations, deer move in low light. So if you want to get full color shots, like in low light, you know, the mature box and stuff like that move at them times a lot. So this camera is really good at getting video and pictures in low light so if that's something you're looking for um, i would definitely recommend this camera to you so a couple things i wanted to highlight about the dark ops pro dcl guys is I, at the end i did put this camera over a bait pile so like the numbers i'm going to give you just keep in mind that it would have lasted a lot longer over time but to be able to fit everything into this video for you guys and uh, really test this camera out it just made the camera run, you know, harder than normal. Um, and I also, like, a couple cool things that I wanted to point out, just so you guys know, is the Dark Ops Pro DCL has a delay on photos and videos, which is awesome, especially if you're putting it over bait, because you're going to get all kind of things triggering the camera, uh, squirrels, birds, raccoons, not just deer. So I think that's an awesome feature that the Dark Ops Pro DCL has to offer. Also on the back, it has the steel tree bracket. And that thing has a little plastic piece on the bottom that you can loosen and tighten. And it'll give you the angle on the tree. So you can still use the tree strap and get the angle down if you're putting the camera up higher or you want a certain shot. Um, I really like that feature on this camera as well when i had the dark ops pro dcl on the bait i put it on video mode and it took 1613 videos so just keep that in mind um you know for six AA batteries the battery life on this thing was awesome also i wanted to let you guys know sd management was also on 
So what that means is it will overwrite the oldest footage with the newest. That way you don't miss anything. So, you know, keep that in mind too, because, you know, as far as numbers go, it could have actually took more than what it's showing. I know that's a big thing that you guys want to see, you know, when you watch these reviews is battery life. Um, I didn't have any issues with the camera. One thing I did notice in video mode was some static noise. But if you head over to browningtrailcameras.com, then scroll to customer service, then go to the drop down and hit software and updates, they'll list all the firmware updates for their cameras. So chances are they'll have an update for it. I have seen this in the past. Um, not 100% on that, but uh, a lot of people give up on trail cameras and all you got to do is a firmware update. It's simple. You just pop the SD card in, drag the file to it, take that SD card, put it back in your camera, scroll through the menu and go to firmware update and the camera will do it for you. You can do it. It takes a couple minutes tops if that. Drop a comment down below as well and let me know, you know, what you guys want to see if I left something out or you want me to do something different. At the end of all this, my job is to make sure that I give you the information you need to decide whether this camera is for you or not. So that's my main goal. So keep in mind the numbers I gave you was on top of the pictures that it already took and videos. And you know, that stuff will be in the video. So if you wanted like a total number, you know, you can just watch the video because I documented you know, each time, you know, the amount of uh, photos and videos it took each camera check, okay? That's going to wrap it up. Uh, hopefully, you made it through the entire video. I tried to keep this shorter for you guys. Um, let me know in the comments if there's another Browning Trail camera that you guys want me to review. Give this video a like if you liked it. Definitely smash that subscribe button down, guys, for me. And ring that notification bell too. So when I put a new video out, you guys will be the first to know about it. Until the next one, guys, you have officially been outdoored. <laughs>